Hi, I'm John Urschel. The last place you'd expect to find me is in a fashion design studio, but you'd be surprised just how much math and science goes into making fashionable apparel. So come on in and let's check out Style by STEM. Welcome to Petit Atelier. I've been here since 2013 and Deep Ellum. Well, I grew up around fashion, so uh, it just came naturally. Once I started doing evening wear, evening wear, I just thought it was just perfect for me. Hey, I'm John. Hi, John. Mario, nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. This is a beautiful space. Thank you, thank you. So at the start of your career, what sort of math did you have to get your head around? Well, basic math for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a little bit of uh, geometry as well, since it deals with shapes and shapes on the body. When you started your career, what was the first apparel that you learned how to make? I think the first thing I learned how to make that was pretty basic is uh, the circle skirt. Gotcha. You think you can show me? Absolutely. Uh, I'll show you right now. Okay, perfect. Lead the way. Absolutely. All right. Well, how about some metallic okay. or... Um, some solid bright colors. How about classic black? What do you think? I think that'd be great. All let's right, let's do it. Yeah. How do we make a circle out of this square fabric? Okay, so first of all, uh, usually for, I think the mannequin we're gonna be, or measurements we're gonna be using, mm -hmm. we're gonna be using the uh, mannequin number eight. What no, so, uh, circumference around so, the waist? Right, so it'd be the circumference of the waist mm -hmm. uh, that's measuring, um, 27 inches. 27 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and usually it takes a couple of yards of okay. uh, fabric for a circle skirt. You know, anything in geometry, everything shapes. Yes. So we have a square here that we're gonna try to get a circle out of. Okay. So we're gonna fold that in half, mm -hmm. sav uh, salvage to salvage, yes. and then fold that again. And salvage usually is gonna be the, ra the raw edge of the fabric. Now what? So now what we're gonna have to do is um, go ahead and use our uh, waist measurement, mm -hmm. it's 27, Yes. Uh, and find the um, uh, diameter of that. Mm -hmm. uh, once we fi find the diameter, we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure out what the radius of that is. And you can get the radius just by looking at the circumference, divide by pi, this gives you the diameter. Exactly. And then divide by two, and now you have the radius. We have a tack here, and we're gonna use this as a compass. Uh, so we're going to tack sure. that to the tip of the of the measuring tape. Mm -hmm. and we're going to pull that to its fullest there. Okay. Um, and we're going to take that uh, radius and use and mark down. So I will let you mark that. Okay. And you'll mark from four and a quarter, and you kind of uh, uh, sway that around. First time for everything. Right. Great, that's it. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, so now um, average length mm -hmm. of the skirt, I would say would probably be from waist to, to knee, about 25 inches, so I'll let you mark that down. Okay, perfect. So mm -hmm. we're at four and a quarter. Right. Add 25 inches, mm -hmm. so we're just at 29 and a quarter. Exactly. Okay, and now just mark this all the way around. Exactly. And then let's get our last one. Right. Perfect. Perfect. So the next thing to do is good. let's go ahead and pin that uh, flat. Okay. And if you don't mind grabbing those pens for me, we'll start pinning away. I'll let you do this as well. Just go ahead and go around. Okay. And I'll put one more right, right here. And we need this because if bottom layers of the fabric get slightly off from the top layer, then our measurements become an exact. Exactly, and again, measurements are, have to be uh, pretty precise in right. order for it to ba be balanced. Mm -hmm. All right, so next thing would be just cutting this out. And we're using the lines you marked as our guideline. Mm -hmm. And I'll, at this point, I'll let you go ahead and finish the rest. I want it to be noted that if this doesn't look like a perfect circle, just know, <laughs> I know how to make a circle in theory, but in practice, this is a slightly different thing. You did good, you did good. So our next step is okay. gonna be pretty easy. We have a circle skirt. Now yes. we have to just take it to the sewing machine, okay. add our waistband, and we should be done. Perfect, let's do it. All right. So what do you think? This is the final product. I think it looks great. I'm just amazed to see how basic geometry can right. lead to building one of the basic apparel items every designer learns how to make. Right, right. Now, 
how could we accessorize this? Right. Get her ready for a night on the town. Right. So right now we're just with a basic t-shirt. Mm -hmm. We can either dress it up, dress it down. So we're going to go ahead and dress her up with the little fedora. Okay. We'll just throw that on her there. Mm -hmm. And she's, you know, going out on the night. Mm -hmm. And we can throw a little capelet on her and she's ready to go. She looks amazing. I'd call it style by stem. Who knew geometry could be so chic?